There he is. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Monster Hunter World, to what may be my last episode, my last upload on this game before moving on. The only thing I need to do that I need to conquer is Fatalis. And I hope I can do that today. I really do. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so in the last episode, we defeated Arch-Tempered Vulcana for the first time. And since then, I have actually defeated Vulcana several more times. I joined SOS to defeat him, and I was surprised how many times like people were doing him on SOS. So I was able to craft uh, four pieces of gear. I could craft, I can craft the gloves, but I decided to use the Frost Fang for punishing draw, which adds a stun effect to my draw attacks, and it increases my attacks slightly. I was also able to use a Vulcana ticket to max out the Master's Charm, so I have a level 5 crit eye, and the Frost Fang has a level 2, so I have full crit eye without any decorations. So this is what I have right now, this is what I'm rocking, uh, full crit eye attack. I have 3 levels of defense boost because I have a, a 4 star decoration for hard defense, and <laughs> it actually increases my defense by a lot, so I, I just threw it on there, health boost. Crit boost, weakness, focus, crit draw, peak performance, quick sheath, coalescence. I put two levels of blight resistance so I can get rid of blight fast so I can get that attack bonus. Uh, resuscitate, fortify, one level of agitator because one level of agitator is always good to have. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be my build for Fatalis. The only thing is I haven't, I actually haven't unlocked Fatalis yet. <laughs> So, I defeated a Latrion, but I guess they make you, they, they force you to defeat the other Latrion. This one? Dawn's Triumph. The burning Latrion has once been spotted. So, I guess I'm going to have to defeat this for Vitalis, so let's just buckle up, let's just do it. Give me that Glacial Demon, man. Give me that Thousand Ice Attack. Where are you? Here we go. Put that over here. We're going to have to mess around with our decorations. And then, and then uh, level 3. What is my defense like? Dude, it's 1,200, man. It's 1,200. And then with Fortify, two levels of Fortify. So I'm going to have like 15, 1,600 defense, man. Huh. All right, let's 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 do it. I'm, I'm expecting this to be way easier because this has less HP, right? I'll use... Nah, I gotta use my vouchers. Safeguard it is. Let's go. Mmm. We start in camp. Look How is this. it back so quickly? Something bad's happening. <laughs> the voices are back. Okay. Um, How do we want to start this fight? Um, let's start. I'm gonna start with the rock steady mantle and let's try to wall bang him. Yeah, I got I got the rock steady mantle on, asshole. You can't take it away with your stupid ass lightning. I have Dragon Blade. What are you doing?
my rock statements was down. Okay. Oh shit, something. Okay. Let's get the temperamental on. Stay in fire form. Stay in fire form. Or is he in dragon form? Dragon form is when he does like the red lightning. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's so easy. To report. Dude, I think this is too easy. This is too easy. You could probably easy DPS him down before the first Eschaton. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh. But, uh, but yeah, so, but I do think, screw, screw a lot, John, man, screw it. Screw a lot, John, bro. He should have one HP. <laughs> okay. You're going to give me Fatalis now, right? Five minutes, Jesus. Uh, no materials, huh? Okay. Evade. Uh... You're gonna give me Fatalis? Garg lost some work, dude. The field Never team say that word waiting. again. Let's check in. Good work taking care of Alatreon. I knew I could count on everyone. I've never experienced such power before. I hate to think what had happened if something like that showed up in the old world. Chief, I think we should warn the guild about the growing number of incidents when we send off our next report. The guild collects intel on monster behavior in each region, but they also gather disaster reports. We can send them what we have so they can prepare for a worst case scenario. You've got a point. Make the necessary preparations. Understood. Oh, before I forget. Seems like the commander has returned to Astera. Really? He's back already? Hey, I got an idea. How about when you report in on the Alatreon investigation, you pester him until he spills the beans on why the guild summoned him? 
good idea, huh? I already know, Fatalis. <laughs> Do we really need to get in his business? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you the papers. Speak to the commander when you're ready. Let's go. Greetings, Hunter. I just looked over the report on the Alatreon investigation. We'll be sending this off to the guild immediately. As always, splendid work. Hmm. I see. I suppose it does make sense that the guild summoning me would cause gossip to spread. This is probably as good a time as any to let you know what's happening. The truth is, a large-scale joint operation between various countries and organizations has been in the works for some time. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. They believe our expertise with unidentified life and ecologies and our outstanding record in the field will be an asset. Let's prove them right. Now then, we have a guest here in Astera that will detail the operation. Representatives from each unit will be in attendance. Of course, we'll need you there, too. Come. Is everyone here? Good. Then let us begin, Council. As I told everyone, an international joint operation is currently in the works. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. Our guest will provide us with the details. Thank you, Commander. I'm in charge of this joint operation, and I hope to get to know each of you soon. Hmm? You? You're with the Commission. General, it's an honor to see you again. <laughs> Never expected to see a familiar face in the new world. <clears throat> My apologies. We'll have to make some time to talk later. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. Weird. Several rare phenomena have occurred in various parts of the world, and we've also received reports from our special disaster unit. Small intermittent quakes, forest fires breaking out so frequently that there is enough smoke to blot out the sun. Endemic life and monsters alike are disappearing, and even the Elder Dragons are becoming more scarce. No one has any theories. However, we located in our records one past occasion when all these current events did happen. Just one. Let me ask, have any of you heard of Shrade before? Nope. Yes, the glorious country of Shrade. I remember reading it was a powerful nation that suddenly disappeared ages ago. No one knows what happened to it. And the region of Shrade is off-limits to everyone, from what I've heard. You're well-read, I see. Then you must know of the legends they speak of Shrade. Please say no. Yes, oh. a story of Shrade's demise. An incredible monster burned the country down to the ground in a single night. Yes, the best handler. But why are you bringing this up now? Records of Shrade are scant, but they do exist in various forms, such as diplomatic documents or personal diaries. Around the time when Shrade was destroyed, we discovered several passages from one article. Earthquakes, forests burning, birds and monsters gone, no sun, elder dragons disappearing. Then several months later, Shrade disappeared. <laughs> no way, that, that can't be right. I understand that catastrophic elder dragons have appeared in the new world. It was no coincidence. This is inevitable. Everything is happening again. And it heralds the return of the one that obliterated Shrade. There it is. The Black Dragon Fatalis. A nightmare that lives only in legend. Fatalis. The Guild and every country have declared that Fatalis will appear in Castle Shrade again and have called for its extermination. Our assignment will be to prepare for its eventual appearance and slay the beast. When is it expected to show up in Castle Shrade? We cannot say for certain. But if we take the records we found at face value, we have a few months before it shows up. Do we know its current location? No. We have no information on that. Nothing to tell us where it's coming from or where it's going. Information is so scarce that it's more accurate to call this the Fatalis event. Is it even possible to take it down? If we don't, everything will perish. What we can do now is alert every participating nation and prepare ourselves. The Research Commission will need to mobilize quickly. The General and I will depart first, ahead of our main force. 
We'll do our best to get a grasp of the situation. We'd like to request that you hunters accompany us. Yes, sir. Later, we'll gather the entire commission and explain what's going on. For now, we want you to get yourselves ready. I shall guide us to Castle Strayed. This will be a long struggle, but I know we'll make it through this. All right, that brings council to an end. Dismissed. So wait, are they going to do something similar to like the first time we faced Volcana, where they like showed us Volcana in uh, this, the 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 Celiana Cash or whatever, and then we fought Volcana for real? Is that what's going to happen? Special assignment to Black Dragon. I don't think this is the real fight. Oh, it says Slay Fatalis. Fatalis. Holy hell, this is it. Oh my god, they give us five faints? Wow, 30 minutes. Well, in all honesty, it's probably hard. I mean, it's probably not hard, but... It's fainting five times in 30 minutes. <laughs> and then an extra faint. Oh my god, insurance and the safeguard? <laughs> <laughs> Could you even faint that many times in 30 minutes? It is time for us to confront Fatalis. We, along with every nation and organization known, shall rid this world of this fabled scourge. When you're ready, we'll set sail. Let me uh, hold off on just a second here. There is something I need to do. I need to do this first. Just so I can get the Temporal Mantle upgrade. Uh, and it gives me two decoration slots. I mean, it's it's not a big deal, but... If this is going to be, you know, my last fight... I should be as properly decked out as I can. And I... Honestly, I'm just going to use a voucher on this. I... I don't want to... I don't want to deal with... Uh, I just want to get it over with fast so I can fight Fatalis. Fire SOS. Oh, there he is. Can I do a jumping attack on him? Ah! <laughs> oh, is he gonna jump again? Okay, jump, jump, jump. Here we go. Oh, God damn! guy doing hurry up buddy where the hell is he going is he flying here what the freak oh maybe he's taking he's taking the uh the the wire thing <laughs> maybe it wasn't a, it wasn't a right idea to ask for sos for this This guy faints it again, bro. Dude. You would think if somebody's gonna come in SOS, they would at least know be a little bit better, right? Or come properly geared. Shh. Okay, he's done. I'm gonna have to go back eat a safeguard. I don't trust. Honestly, I don't trust myself against Namiel with a with a melee weapon. I don't trust myself against Namiel. Like I I might faint. And I don't know about these other people. I'm gonna go run back to camp. Did did ten minutes even pass? I think so. This was a fifty minute quest, right? Just eat a safeguard.
Oh, there's Namiel. Look at that thing. Where the freak? I hope this isn't going to backfire, but um, I want to hit the Paratoad. Oh, the Paratoad's already hit. Yeah. <laughs> Mother Motherfuck! Seriously, bro? Just leave! Just leave the goddamn game, man! That's three feints, bro! If I didn't need a safeguard, that would have been game over. How can this guy even stay here? I would be so embarrassed. I would be... I would be embarrassed to stay in this match. This guy has done nothing but faint, man. Like, usually, like, when people, like, faint in, like, my SOS, is like, I, I, it's, it's okay. Like, it, it happens. But this dude legit fainted, like, the second he joined the fight. He came back. He fainted again really quickly. And now we start fighting the next monster, Namiel, and he faints again immediately within, like, a minute. Like, this is a little too much. Like, like if I could kick him out, I would, man. He's going to he's gonna fail this quest. A safe card, it would have been game over. Like, I, I, I don't want to come across like as like some like pro gamer over here, and I hate you know new players or I hate you know people making mistakes. Just like, no, but dude, if you're gonna join an SOS and you're immediately gonna faint and you're gonna faint again like shortly afterwards, and then the next monster comes and you faint within a minute again, then that's a problem, dude. Like, that's a problem. Like, how, is there any even way I can see, like, what, like, any, his information? Like, I, I want to know what, what gear he's using, what sword he's using. All right. Okay. It's done. We got the Temporal Mantle Plus. Let's, uh, do I already have it on? I think I do, right? The only thing that I can think of would be attack boost. Okay. I really can't think of anything else I would want to put on here. Oh boy, man, here we go. The first time I'm fighting uh, Fatalis. I don't know anything about Fatalis. Well, okay. This is all I know about Fatalis. Through, like, I've been playing this game for several weeks now, and I've, I've, I've seen some things here and there, like reading, like on Reddit or something, or some posts. I heard that there's, like, cannons and ballista in the beginning of the fight, maybe, where you spawn... So I think you can, from what I understand, you could get some damage from that and then go melee him, go fight him. But I don't know, so I'm, I'm gonna find out for the first time. Everybody says this is the hardest boss in the game.
Five faints is a lot. Do I even eat for safeguard? I I don't know. I'm I'm actually actually I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat for safeguard. Just give me I mean in the beginning it would be better, right, if I have more defense. Kinda like make some mistakes, learn the fight a little bit. But no. <laughs> Screw defense right now. I already have I already have a deep level three defense. People don't know how to put on the the, Excuse me. the clutch claw. Okay. That's embarrassing. We're going to war with these people. <laughs> you ready? You're drinking before like Never the, the be strongest, deadliest dragon. Especially like this. Ah, so nervous. A call back to the. Leave you me. I get it. <laughs> beginning of the episode. <sighs> but my new friend and I will give you all the support you could ask for. Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm around. <laughs> yeah. what the? This is this is okay, the beginning of the game. You're awesome, but I want to know what she thinks. Ah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hunters, your attention. <sighs> this is the layout of Castle Shrade. Weapons from its last stand are still on site. The cannons are here. Here, the ballistae. Hopefully, we can find workable binders to use. It's pronounced ballistae. Ballista. It's you ballista. can see railing here. That means there may be a roaming ballista. Oh. And finally, a dragonator. It'll be our ace in the hole. The mechanism is dated. So we'll need to manually fire the weapon. Obviously. <laughs> Finally, we have a barricade here. That barricade will need to be triggered manually as well. For what? This is where the lever is. We'll need it in case of emergency. <coughs> That's all. Carve this information into your brains. Yes, sir. Fatalis, Castle Shrade? This still feels like a dream. I know it's cliche, but it's like we're in one of those bedtime stories our parents told us. Just shut up. I know what you mean. Do you think we can live the together with Fatalis? Do you think Elder Dragons can live together to with us? Generation to generation. Oh my God. Many believed that the story of Fatalis and Castle Shrade was just a fable created after the fact. I never thought those legends would turn out to be true. The word Fatalis was never meant as a moniker for an actual beast. Fatalis, fatality? No, it was a word Fatal. to describe an existence of some kind. I'm pretty sure but it means over death. Time, it seems to become known as the name of the monster. So what we're up against isn't a monster. It's actually history. No, it, it, it's a monster. We're arriving soon. Steal yourselves. <laughs> I swear, if this fight has a lot of voices in the middle of the fight, I'm turning voices off immediately. I'm not putting up with that. <laughs> I have zero tolerance for that. I really do. All right. I don't think this is. I don't think this is the quest where we're gonna beat him. General, we've located something. I think he's gonna run away. This is, I think this is, uh, like a practice. It really exists. It wasn't just a legend. Oh, amazing. I... I don't know how to put it. 
but it's like... Somehow the past and the present meet up right at this point. However... That wasn't in the blueprints. What? The Dragonator... It's blocking the Dragonator! But then... We can't reach the Ballista or Barricade either. Hmm. Was it just slapped together? They fought back Fatalis and then propped it up? I see. So that means in the end, they didn't have time to use their Dragonator. They realized all was lost and abandoned the offensive. Or Fatalis just killed no. them. They most likely used it. They knew the stakes. They battled hard, defended their home, but were ultimately outmatched. They fought until the bitter end. If they just gave up, absolutely nothing would have remained once Fatalis was finished. Hmm. It was not my place to judge them. So then, what should we do? With that in the way, we can't use the Dragonator. Uh, it has to be a phase he breaks Let's down. Let's tear it down. Oh. <laughs> Bring people in now. Or just do that. Our forces? I heard they're arriving shortly, sir. Good. They're quick. Once we rendezvous with them, we should have enough manpower. Don't forget about us. Me. You mean me. Since we brought the wing drakes, we decided to establish a camp up there. We'll need to update the maps, too. <sighs> What's is, wrong? Is here? Our main force is arriving soon, right? Correct. Your odds? In my favor, as always. We'll buy everyone some time to escape. Yeah. No! This is madness! Retreat now! We can't have any missteps. Go get it done, then. Yes, sir. To the camp! Hurry! Underestimating those two hunters was your biggest mistake. Uh, one hunter, Believe bro. Me, I know all too well. <laughs> Why? Dude, this guy's a nobody. General. <clears throat> Is he using the Zizi Yaku heavy bowgun, bro? Dude, seriously? The dead eye, I think it was called. Oh, there he is. This is not the real quest. It's still a monster. So its head must be a weak one. The cannons up above should be able to hit its head. They're fully loaded. Tail. Okay, he does that, so. 
probably not safe to be behind him. Um, it's kind of a small arena. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, why did he wall bang? It's down on all fours. Aim for the head while you can. Hey, time to give you a refresh. some like wide like wide attacks that take up a lot of air uh space. hey time to give you a refresh okay huh. dang the head's hard to reach while it's standing aim for its midsection try to make it quick so it'll lower its head we have one binder. You attack its mid section, and I'll bind it when the time is right. Hey, you okay? He has some attacks that. Damn. Where is? It's time. Prep the binder. Head to the ballista near the wall. What? Understood. Oh, you weren't talking. To me. You weren't talking. To me. After ready with the binder. The freak. Make that thing flinch so I can get an open shot. Once it flinches, I'll stare it with the binder. Keep at it! Dude, this guy's crazy. He has he has so many like wide range attacks. I feel like I I'm not seeing anywhere that's safe. Obviously this is not the, the quest to defeat him. Holy hell, bro. This guy's crazy. Don't worry, I'll hold it off. Make sure you're ready to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing where I could like stay to be safe. He has so many crazy attacks, that, and they take up so much space. A lot of wide range attacks. Hit it in its midsection to make it flinch. In the mid. Do I have to hit it in the mix set? You oh. got it! Firing the binder! <sighs> Done! Fatalis is bound! What now? This is our chance! Let's get in there! Keep 
attacking its midsection to knock it down. It's our best option right now. It's down on all fours. Aim for the head while you can. Hey, you okay? Oh, that was insurance? I didn't even know I ate insurance. Don't worry, I'll hold it off. Make sure you're ready to fight. Dude. This is actually crazier than Elatrion, man. Like, Elatrion... The big thing with Elatrion was just... Was obviously his DPS check, is those, those mechanics with the elements. Like, Fatalis' attacks... Are crazy. Stood up. Whoa, oh, that. that was nuts. It's down on all fours. Aim for the head while you can. Easier said than done. I was stunned. I was stunned. Don't worry, I'll hold it off. Make sure you're ready to fight. Like I'm not like this is this is scaring me actually like It's just his attacking is the scariest part. Like I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in the whole game. His attacks are so crazy, and but they're so wide range. And I'm just having a hard time seeing like where is even stood up. where is even a safe spot to stand. Taking the main group so long. That's an opening, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, time to give you a refresh. Dude, like even his tail, like I can't find- I'm stunned! I can't find- I can't find anywhere! I'm safe! I'm dead! Dude! Yeah, bring back Elantrion! Don't worry, I'll hold it off! Make sure you're ready to fight! Bring back Elantrion! I don't want to fight Fatalis anymore! Still good to go. Don't be so rough, okay? It's down on all fours. Aim for the head while you can. Vitalis has stood up. The high platform is taking heavy damage. Oh, he destroys it. Oh. oh god damn forcing you to tenderize bro yeah the you have to attack him in the middle but i feel like that's the most dangerous spot to be in <laughs> like i don't want to be in his middle bro Okay. Come on, girl. Let's go. What is going on? Uh, 
Is it retreating? <sighs> nope, too early to celebrate. Oh, man. Die? There's Dragonator. Report! We have one down. The wall's been destroyed. Ah, of course you're not gonna kill him. He's gonna what be about he's the gonna Dragonator? Stay. He's gonna be alive. I'll confirm now. We'll signal when ready. <sighs> SOS. It's the commission. They're finally here. Hmm. Those two hunters managed to buy us enough time. Now we have a glimmer of hope. We can't let it die. No time to waste. Hurry! Yes, yes sir. sir. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> Looks like I'll never be like him. <sighs> hey, guys! <sighs> Two things. First, volume down. The roaming ballista in the barricade can now be used. The Dragonators being prepped. When the time comes, make use of them. Second, the main group is here. We can now call for help. <laughs> I'll take care of him. This thing is a reality, partner. That just means I know you can kill it. So obviously this is going to be like a second uh, quest, right? This is not a separate quest. Dude, what's going on? So it doesn't wall bang him. He has to be on all fours. Is that what's going on? So you can't wall bang him if he. God damn it! You can't wall bang him if he's on just two. Maybe he needs to be on all fours. Let's try now. Yeah, he has to be on all fours. What? So fast? Fatalis! Let's craft some Fatalis gear.
do I use a Dragonator? Is this it? Barricade. Barricade lever? I don't get it. He's not coming over here. How do I use a Dragonator? Did that not hit him? Okay, this, this loser is just staying over there, man. Obviously, this is just learning here, but I, I I don't feel like I'm learning anything. That's the scary part. Like, usually, I guess you, you, you try to see where is safe, like his attacks. I'm not learning anything, man. All I'm learning, he has big ass attacks. It's so hard to get out of the way. Where do you position yourself? He has his tail. And so if you position yourself to the side or the back, he just does a big like bling. He swipes the tail. So he's going to hit you. And his tail is so big. Like, it takes so much, like, it goes so far back. Oh, my God. He, he vomits things, and it just does so much damage over time. Such a huge... Safeguard. Is this actually the quest? Like, there's an SOS? I thought this was going to be, like, a tutorial quest, and he's going to run away. But this looks like we actually have to slay him. Does he not see me? Fantastic. Fantastic. Great. Amazing. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys having fun? Watching me? Really? You guys are having fun, huh? Bitches. Bitches. Drop, drop, drop! 
Why don't you let me drop right on top of him? Give me the mounts. Fucking hell, um... Like, this is the shit, dude! This is the bullshit! Lizard. Fuck. Okay, shit. Okay, okay. No, no, what are you gonna do? Can I mount? Goddamn Dragonator, man. What this the barricade should provide shelter against that flame. Use it wisely. Oh. So I guess he has a one shot at that one shot. At, that's a one shot attack. I got it. I understand. I see. Whenever he go, he goes like into the air. I guess to do some crazy attack. We gotta run there. I don't know how to use the Dragonator. For your service in your own. Don't shoot. No, I mean. Oh, I still got it. But he doesn't stay down, man. this oh yeah, this is safe roaming how do i do this this ballista moves along the rails and what? give it a spin why isn't it moving did you just say it's gonna move oh shit get out of here get out of here Wasn't even in there. I wasn't. The oh my god, that wasn't a proper display of where the attack range is, man. I was totally out of that. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna fuck. I fainted. Okay. I was trying to... I was trying to get a max potion, but I don't think I was able to craft it. And I don't think I, I crafted, like, any, so I was... Okay. I don't get it. Like, is this it? Is the Black Dragon the last... I'm not going to do this right now. I, um, I'm just going to click. I'm going to accept the quest. I'm just curious to see how this works. I'm just curious to see where is it going to put me. Okay. We start right here. He's right there. Now, I wonder, do those cannons... Those cannons start with two. It's still a monster. Though its head must be a weak point. So he's gonna see us when we drop down. The cannons up above should be able to hit its head. Uh-huh. But he sees me. But if I go here. It already has two. And he destroys it immediately. Oh, and the gate is blocked over there. And the roaming ballista is behind it. Okay. So the cannons start... The cannons already start with two... Uh, can uh, in there, so it might be smart because he's gonna destroy it pretty quickly, right? So it might be smart to do the cannons first, just go boom, boom, and each one does like what? Like each cannon does like 250 damage. So if we can load those cannons with the ghillie mantle, I think maybe we try to uh, we, we make a build for the cannons. So we can, we can put on the ghillie mantle. We can hide. Load the cannons up. And then... What is the decoration? Is it artillery or hard artillery? Strengthens explosive attacks. But let's, here it is. Heavy artillery. Plus 50%, plus 100%. Dude, so does level 2 double it? So if you double it, that's 500 a cannon. And I think I think you could put 5 cannons in one. 5, five cannonballs in one. That's 2,500. Right? 2,500. 2 cannons. 5,000 attack. Right? This, this seems like a good way to start. And then the ballista. Is there any way before I go back to camp... Is there any way I can get that roaming ballista? Because that roaming ballista has like a hundred, right? But I don't understand because it wasn't moving. When I was shooting it, it wasn't moving. Okay, so we start in camp. We put on the ghillie mantle. We go there. We load the cannons. We shoot the cannons. In all honesty, I should probably try to learn the fight first. <laughs> I should probably tr try to learn the fight. Um, how much HP does Fatalis have? Is it is it more than Arch Tempered Volcano? It's probably the same. It's probably fifty-seven thousand. Fatalis. It's sixty-six thousand. Oh my God! It's sick. I didn't know. I didn't know Fatalis was in the sixties. Let me check. I don't really. I really don't think this is gonna teach me anything. But obviously his head is his weak spot and his midsection maybe his front legs a legendary black dragon known as fatalis rumored to have destroyed a kingdom in a single night and has taken its castle for a roost as long as its horns are intact over overcoming its final form's breath attack may be impossible. Cannons and ballistae can topple it. Flint shots when it's flying or standing. 
Okay. So flinch shot, normally when you flinch shot, like uh, an enemy, when they're in the air flying and they're not enraged, they, they'll fall down and it kind of like... It's kind of like the same as a wall bang. But this damn guy... You can't wall bang him if he's standing or he's flying. He just lowers his head. He goes on all fours. And when he's on four on all fours, then you can wall bang him. I think uh, the plan is we make two builds here. We make a build to start the fight. Um, and... He's going to destroy the cannons, so I think we can only use the cannons once in the beginning with, with the temporal mantle. I think I think once you use the ghillie mantle, you lose the ghillie mantle. Like, once you attack, so I, it, it would probably be smart to put heavy artillery on the ghillie mantle. But I think, I think that once you attack the enemy, he's already alerted to your presence and you lose the ghillie mantle. So that means one... I would only get heavy artillery for one shot. And then I would lose heavy artillery for the next cannon because you lose the ghillie mantle, right? So I don't think I don't think I put heavy artillery here or else I would. Alright, well I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this for now. I'm, i I wanna see it. I should put a far caster. Okay. So ghillie mantle. Let's go. Let's see how this works. Cannons up above should be able to hit its head. No, no way, you don't see me. <laughs> this is kind of a This is a long way to start the fight. Is this the best way to do it? Okay, so this is five. This is five. What about this ballista over here? Zero. So, isn't it? It's right here. You know, get off it. Okay, so it's loaded. Like I, I don't see myself using the ballista. I don't, I don't see myself using it. Okay, here we go. Uh, what the fuck? You missed everything. Yeah, the ghillie mantle's out. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know that the cannons can miss like like that from there. Oh, so they do four fifty each. Maybe that's when we fire there, right there. Okay, I think I think I see. Turn your head. Okay, and now here. Only two of them hit.
shit, that was a one. How, how did that... How did that kill me? I feel like I was out. I feel like... I feel like I was out of his attack there. That kind of makes... That doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to have to rewatch that again. Yeah, this is a quit. I'm quitting here. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing the point of these cannons, actually. It seems like it's easy to miss them. And wasting the time to load them... Wasting the time to load them for only one or two to hit, I feel like is just pointless. So we picked up some gear. I ha I actually haven't looked yet. We picked up some of his materials. So maybe his, his gear is going to show? No. I was under the assumption, I thought I heard, I thought I heard that you can actually craft Fatalis gear without defeating him. I thought I heard that. I thought I read that somewhere, but I guess, I guess. Okay, well, um, my first thoughts on Fatalis, he, he, see, he does seem more difficult than Alatrion. A, a first of all, the arena is a lot smaller. And the fight, I guess it feels tighter where you don't have a lot of room to navigate. And his attacks have so much range. And I still don't know, like, like the proper positioning. Where I can place myself kind of to be in a safe spot and attack for certain parts. I'm not seeing it. Uh, he has some crazy attacks that take up so much range. They're, they're so wide. So it's like, he has one attack if you're caught in the middle. All you can do is just block it. He, he, that that one attack that made me faint the last one i could have sworn i wasn't in that like i was to his side like even behind his head and he blew but i still died i was like what that didn't make any sense he needs to be on all fours to wall bang him he can't be flying he can't be standing he has so much health this guy is definitely a much harder fight than elatrion without a doubt Without a doubt. The cannons up above should be able to hit its head. Oh shit, he's getting ready for God damn, bro. Can hide behind the thing. <coughs> you can hide behind it. Does he just stay there? What? What an asshole. Oh, he goes right through it. He goes right through it.
get it. Like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, where the hell am I supposed to get a true charge slash in here? These, th this is not doing a lot of damage. For 60, for 66,000 HP, he gets back up so fast after a wall bang. Like, I, I, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. There, and then... Okay, I got that true charge slash. Uh, well, it, it doesn't matter. He's on his... He's standing, so... It's not a wall bang. Can I sharpen here? And he's gonna shoot me with a fireball, right? Oh my god, it saved me. Dude, you can't sharpen, man. You can't sharpen, bro. Oh man, I already used all my all my uh, max potions. Dude, I'm a, I'm honestly at a loss for words. Like, uh, it's going to unleash its flame. What? Behind something. Uh, here. Uh, over. Oh, over here. Okay, so this is where you sharpen, huh? Oh, damn, look at that thing. So I wonder, um... I still do not know how to use a Dragonator. When he does that, when he does that attack, that doesn't count. That doesn't count as being on all fours. Even though it looks like he's on all fours. Fuck, he's so far away, dude. And he gets back up so fast. Fifteen minutes. I don't even think I did thirty-three thousand damage. Like it's like how the freak? How are you supposed to do this much damage? And he falls down, and it also counts to hit. And now I lose my movement, and then I get up and I die. It's like stuff like that is just so frustrating. Like it really is. Like this game. This game has, like, punishes you so much where you lose, like, control of the character. R3. I'm not seeing, uh... I'm not seeing the light here. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he blows it. Ah! So, the research said about knocking off its horns. You have to knock off its horns. Dude, I'm gonna have to look up like information. Where the where the hell is this Dragonator, bro? I don't see the switch for it. He's he's asleep. Roaming ballista is now operational. Shut up. Okay, so he's using it again. How much time do I have? Not a lot. I wonder, like, how much HP damage you do, like, to get to this. Dragonator, bro. Where's the switch? Something's happening to it. We need to do something about that attack. Breaking its head should weaken it. its head his chest his chest is like red on fire Fuck. yeah you ne you need you need to get You need to get onto this ballista with the temporal mantle. Yeah, you need to get on it with temporal mantle, not even Gilly mantle. Did I even faint? Did I did I do all five or did I get one from safe safeguard? I don't know. I wonder like when he when does he do that flaming attack? Like how much HP does he have left? I'd like to know. I'm gonna I'm gonna search it. Because I, I really want to know how much damage am I doing? Oh my god! Am I reading this correctly here? After taking down 25% of its HP, he will start he will start transitioning to phase 2. Oh, and do the first Nova, which is the one where we hide behind that little wall, right? So that is 25%. Okay, so it says here, this might be a little bit of a spoiler, but it says here first one happens at 75% health, which yeah, we got that Second one at 50% health, which is the one where we had to get behind the the door and the door closes. So we got him. <laughs> I just got him that in 25 minutes, I got him down to a little bit more, uh, a little bit less than 50% HP. Then in his third phase, he does three Novas. 
The first one at 40, second one at 25, and last... God damn, he does that many? I, I, I'm not seeing it, bro. How how do I do enough damage? That's the, that's the scary thing. The scary thing is I don't know where to attack him, how to attack him. It's so hard to hit his face. Once you wall bang him, he has to be the fastest monster getting up out of uh, from wall bangs. You wall bang him, he he goes down, he's like, oh, right back up. It's like, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just not seeing it. All right. Okay, so a little bit has passed since I last fought Fatalis, that last attempt. And what I was doing was I was actually crafting this uh, sword, the Alatrion sword, and I fully upgraded it and fully augmented it because I really think that this this sword is probably really good uh, against Alatrion. And what I ended up doing is I changed my build because those last a few attempts of fighting Fatalis, it's very clear to me I'm not going to be landing True Charge Slash. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Uh, this dude has very little downtime and... He, he has such wide attacks. And he, even when you wall bang him, he gets up so fast. Man, you just don't have time for it. So I'm going to do a full crit draw build. Um, so I went full dragon attack. And that brings, with this sword, that brings my dragon, my elemental uh, damage for dragon up to like 1,070. I went full agitator, defense boost for level 3. Really good. Health boost, crit boost, focus. Yeah, the usual. The only problem that I have right now with this is I only have one level of blight resistance and I would like it to be two just so I have the blight for you know less time and so coalescence can proc um but I don't know how much how big of a problem that's going to be if anything I can sacrifice my attack decoration to slot in another blight we'll see and uh that's it this is the build I'm gonna I'm gonna go so the, I mean the only thing I should do now is just try to get more comfortable with the fight and i am thinking about once i feel like better about the fight i am thinking about killing myself two times in the beginning of the fight just so i can proc uh just so i can get fortify two times i really think that's going to make a big difference uh that big attack boost right from the beginning is going to help dps him down just look at the, the last fight or i did where i got to the second nova it's like dude that's 50 percent hp and that was already 30 minutes we just have to go ham on, on attack, and um, if you're if you're if you need five carts, I don't think you're gonna have the time to to even clear it, clear the quest. So I'm thinking about uh, doing that, killing myself two times for fortify, and eating a safeguard so I can give I can have three carts. Um. How should we go in? Should we just go in straight with a... Uh... Okay, let's just go in with a Temporal Mantle. I'm thinking about doing another build with, like, Vitality Mantle. And uh, just so I can, like... If I die, I can just quickly it's switch out monster. loadout and I can have Lieutenant more mantles ready to go. Point. I need to break the horns. I, I do the know that. Up above should be able to hit its head. Okay. Let's see here. I think we gotta, we gotta just stay close to him. So he doesn't do that, that crazy uh, fire cone. Two nineteen. Oh shit! I didn't even eat food. Let me, I'll get him. Oh, this is it. This is a good one. 800, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So, okay. What are you doing? What's going on? Yeah, this might be uh, that, that might do a thousand damage if I do the fortify thing in the beginning of the fight. Okay, 
Okay, and then we gotta... Okay. This is a good time. I don't know what kind of time you have there. 500. Oh shit. Vitalis Pectus. What the hell is that? Back! Yes! That was nice. That was nice. He came back right in time. Uh. Okay, 500, nice. This is really good. This is really good. Like, this, these attack. Oh, shit. This is not good. Okay. Okay. And if we're gonna, if we're gonna go that. Uh, I, oh, I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm dead here. Okay. So this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Like uh, I'm doing some good damage here. The only thing is, if we do the, if we go that fortify route, if we go that fortify route, I'm probably gonna have to take out uh, Vigor Wasp, um, the Vigor, the Vigor thing, his gadget, because it's gonna, he's gonna res me when I kill myself, and, that's, and then I'm gonna lose it right from the beginning. So there's no point. Like he would heal me, but I think I just have to go max potions and ancient potions. You see, like, right now, if I had another loadout with different... I can just switch the Vitality Mantle. And maybe, uh... What? Like, a Fire Mantle? Or maybe the Dragon Mantle? I don't know. And then I can... Maybe I can put Heartbreaker on them? I need to break this horn. Damn damage, bro! Holy hell! Dude! I was probably at what? Like 1400 defense? What the f What happened there? How the hell did I take that much damage? <laughs> what is it? Oh, the tail thing? Like an asshole. Are you, you're doing the tail thing? God damn it! His tail is so long! Man, I don't understand why that hits you, you know? Like, yeah, I get it, he's shooting it, but we're literally on the side of his mouth, right? So it's like, it doesn't make sense, like... Right? Like... Oh, shit, this is a big one.
that one. Fire thing again. I gotta stick close. Damn, I could have rolled through it. It's flame! Get behind something! The sharpness of this sword is really good. Damn head, dude. He's not doing his like flamethrower blast attack, man. God, what? Are you, what are you doing? Like right? Look at that bullshit, bro. I, I hate this so much in this game. This is such a dumb thing, man. I really, I really, really hate it. Like, I have, I have some, like, gripes with this game. I, I really do. I have, I have some things that I really, really dislike. And the most important, the, the thing I hate the most is definitely, um, is losing control of your character. It happens so much that it's just, it's annoying. Stuns are so obnoxious. The fact that like if you get hit like two times out of nowhere, yeah, you can have stun, you can run stun resistance in your build or you can just learn the attack pattern. Or if you get thunder blight and you get hit once, you get stunned. It just, it's just stuff that is not needed actually. Like it doesn't contribute to anything. This guy doesn't put his, he doesn't do his flamethrower breath. I think he only did it twice in this whole fight. Oh, is he doing it now? There we go. Still didn't break the horn. Again, he's doing it again. Was that a horn break? I don't think so. 
I'm assuming I'm assuming the handler is gonna say something when when we break the horn. I, sh I should have I should have charged I should have charged it. I'm assuming that the handler is gonna say something, but we're we're, we're about to die. We're about to die. Yeah, I, I, I'm out of stamina. We're dead. Um. Oh, we still have another faint. Okay. Out of stamina, so I walked to him slower. You see, I'm doing this bullshit again, dude. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Why? What is that? I really, really don't like it, man. I understand, like, we're getting hit by these big monsters, right? But, like, we... Obviously, this is not even, like... We would die, realistically. Like, you ain't killing, like, 95% of the monsters in this game. Like, a real person. <laughs> but, like, just from, like, a gameplay perspective, like, it's not fun, man. Like, losing control of your character so much and then laying on the floor and you can't get up and then... They just, like, attack you and, and kill... It's just... It's so dumb. They can stun you and then kill you while you're stunned. They can knock you down and you're stuck on the ground. They can't get back up and they can just kill you right there. It's like all these little things are not needed. It's like, make the game... Like, give give the game a little bit more quality of life. You know? Don't, don't make it, like, so... This is not, like, fun difficulty. I have no problem... I have no problem with Fatalis. So far, I have no problem with Fatalis. I I, I had problems with the Latreon, um, a Latreon. I had I had a lot of problems with him. I have a lot of problems with Kushala Dara. I hate Kushala Dara as a monster. I think he's a terribly designed monster. He's a terribly designed boss fight. Terrible. And a Latreon and Kushala Dara are probably the biggest monsters I hate in this game. Uh, mechanically, uh, fights like speaking on that that thing. I have no problem with uh, Fatalis. I think he has he has crazy attacks, but you just have to learn it. You have to get out of the way. No problem. These uh, losing control of your characters, I hate it. I hate it. I hate that part of the game. I hate that part of the game, and I hate tenderizing. Those are like my biggest things I hate about this game. After, after uh, I think I have 260 hours in this game. After 260 hours in this game, those are the things I hate the most. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Yeah, you can uh, you can try to argue with me. Well, you can make a build around that. You can waste five decoration slots. You can put uh, all blight resistance, all stun resistance. You can do all this resistance, yada, yada, yada. No, that's stupid. There's no reason that you should you, you should need to do that. Like I get there some fights have gimmicks and you want to put resistance, you know, like Valhazak, you want Miasma resistance. If you're fighting Nightshade Palumu, you want sleep resistance, okay? For those gimmick fights. Yeah, whatever, but everybody can stun you. A lot of monsters knock you down and you can't get back up. Those things are not needed in this game. They are not needed uh to increase the difficulty. It's not fun difficult. Yeah, so that's that's my viewpoint. That's my opinion. Okay. There we go. Let's... And then we eat safe card. There we go. Okay. 
this is basically i think this is i think this is the best path to victory obviously we're we're i'm very far away from being comfortable enough to to slay to be fatalis fatalis not even close it's still a monster so its head must be a weak point. Let's see how Shield Spire, uh, the Palico is going to be. The cannons up above should be able to hit its head. Okay. Hundred. Why? Why? I I have I have two fortifies. Shouldn't that be a thousand? Punish the wall bang, man. It's so hard to punish the wall bang. You're so far from him. I don't know. Um, the wall bang doesn't even give you an opening for his head. Usually it throws you so far away from him. And by the time you get to him, he's already up because he gets up so fast. The flamethrower move, his flamethrower breath move is like the only time I, I see like a good opening for his head. That I feel that I feel confident, you know? Everything else, like. That's not head, right? That's like neck. Right? Oh, 
god, that did it. Whoa. How did that not hit me? Maybe there's a way to bait the flamethrower. Maybe. Seems like that one is is like an opening. If, if you can like figure out the, the correct timing, like you can get a hit on the head there. How much time has passed? Twelve minutes left, dude. Like this is crazy. Like I'm getting like. The damage is just so shit. And pretty much, it seems like if you don't break the horns... It seems like if you don't break the horns by... By his second Nova, it seems like it's... It's probably like... It's over. Because his attacks are basically going to do a lot of damage, right? Head back.
Because... I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I'm having a very difficult time here. Like, uh... Hitting his head. Figuring out. Like, you have to get some good smacks in on his head to break those horns. And... I think, uh, I think part breaker is probably going to be essential. I think I'm going to have to do like a build, like a starting build. And the starting build maybe has heavy artillery and part breaker. And, uh, we try to break the horns with the first one. And then... Now we can switch to the regular one. It's the regular build. Okay, hit his head. I'm dead here. What is Oh, is it, is it the, the balloon man? I just, I don't see, like, I just don't see. I, I, I don't know, man. Um, I just don't see the openings for, like, all these hits. Because 66,000 damage HP is so much for 30 minutes. Especially considering his, like, his attacks. His attacks is... It's so crazy. It's so so wide range. And then if you're too far, he does that crazy uh, flamethrower breath. That's like a huge. It's so it's so wide, especially if you're pretty far from him. So we're gonna. So maybe put the ghillie mantle here, and then put the vitality mantle here. That, the thing is, we just need we need to break the horns, and uh, it seems to me like if you don't break the horns by uh, the second Nova, where he starts doing the blue fire, it's pretty much game over, right? I guess throw an extra divine blessing in there. In there, okay. Let's throw here. So uh, Max. So while we have the vitality man, so we're gonna have Max part breaker, and Gilly. <laughs> I don't think you need anything, right? Gilly Mantle, I, I I think I talked about this earlier. I don't think there's anything you can even put on Gilly Mantle. Ooh, sorry for you about yawning. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's 2.30 in the morning. It's still a monster. Oh. Though its head must be a weak point. The cannons up above should be able to hit its head. Look at, look at this. Push cannon. Uh, so this is fully loaded, right? Okay, so uh, we need to push this like that. I think this will work because uh, he comes to the first one we shoot, right? Is that is that enough? I hope so. Yeah, okay. You know, we shoot this one. Nice. I don't think I hit the head. Oh, he's down for so long. Holy shit. 
shit, my vitality mage was already done. Holy hell. So I'm going to end it here. I, I got to go to sleep. I'm not learning anything in terms of the openings. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know what to attack. And I still get hit. It seems like the most important part of the fight is to be, like, obviously right in front of him. That's the most important hit zone. Because if anything else, you'd have to tenderize his legs or his tail. Um... But even if you tenderize it, I don't think it's going to be a lot of damage. You got to break the horn. So you have to focus on the head for like the first half of the fight. And I need to take advantage of part breaker before I switch to the second one. I only see his flamethrower, his conal flamethrower breath is like his biggest opportunity to attack his head. Other than that, I don't know what else I can do to attack his head. Everything else just feels like I get lucky when I hit the head. He does the, the move where he slowly does a flame breath like he turns. So if you can time it right, you can hit his head there, do a charged hit there. But honestly, other than that, I don't know where else I can even hit the head. I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe he doesn't have he doesn't have his uh, Alatrion dumb uh, temporal mantle move where he does the lightning and just to get rid of it, but... He has another annoyance where he has to be on all fours. So he can't be standing up and he can't be flying to wall bang him. And even the, the problem is even the wall bang, he gets up so fast and Elatrion stays down. So it's, uh, this is a harder fight than Elatrion, way harder. Like it's not even close. It's not even close. This is by far the hardest fight in the whole game. Like, all right, so it's a new day. Got some rest. Time to try Fatalis again. So I looked up some information. I I read like a tips uh, post on Reddit where they detailed a lot of like little things. And apparently like the post said there's some infamous uh, opener or something, which is the cannon opener. Which was pretty much what I figured out. Except this person, it was, it was in Japanese. But this person was... Uh, he... He did the cannons, but he, he put the cannons to attack the other way from what I did. And he was doing true charge slash. And immediately when he gets up, he wall bangs him. And then he positions himself so he can get a true charge slash when Fatalis comes back down. So I was like, that was a lot of damage. Maybe I can I can position myself to do like a level three charge. I'm not doing true charge slash. I, I, I'm absolutely not. I've seen another video where uh, the, that person was doing basically a crit draw and he got three level three charges when Fatalis falls down, wall bang to a level three charge when Fatalis comes down. But that positioning seems kind of tough. Um, some things I learned. I learned you can bait his cone attack. Uh, you have to kind of like stand a little bit in front of him, like where he spams like his fire and try to roll out of it and try to bait the cone and go for that. But from what I understand, if you have your Palico, it's kind of hard to bait the cone attacks. I learned that if he's flying in the air and you need to far you need to go back to camp, you can far caster. And when you come back, he's on the ground. Um, I saw somebody using the evasion mantle, which I don't, I don't even know if I have the evasion mantle. Do I have the evasion mantle? That might be the better move, actually, instead of the Vitality Mantle. The Vitality Mantle runs out so fast. I think one hit ruins the Vitality Mantle. It's useless. The Vitality Mantle is garbage. Bro! I don't even have the Evasion Mantle. What? 
What? We're gonna have to unlock that. Okay, let's do it. Tempered berry up. Have I? Has he even hit me yet? Now that I said it, he's gonna hit me immediately. <laughs> agitator is activated. It's funny that agitator is activated yet he didn't have the uh, the eyes. The red eye. He hits him here. Oh, he did hit me. Oh. Wow. Well, I think I defeated him without getting damaged. Man, how far, how far we've come. God, I remember uh, when I first encountered Beryoth in the Iceborne DLC. Uh, I was like, what the hell, man? 
Oh my god. With the hammer. I was, uh, no, with the charge blade. I tried with the charge blade. I was getting my ass kicked. I was, in all fairness, I was still new to the, to the DLC. <laughs> Finally, Evasion Mantle Plus. Okay, so now we can switch this out. No, 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 no. Switch out the Vitality Mantle. God, the Vitality Mantle is so freaking useless. Okay, now, set decorations. You definitely want Heartbreaker on this. Here, here, okay. So now, when we have the evasion mentally equipped, we go. We have Heartbreaker. Now, I was thinking. I was actually thinking about this, and I don't think. I think the only thing that Fatalis does to us is he just burns us with his fire, and we can just roll in water, and we get rid of it, and then coalescence procs. So I don't even think we need a level of blight resistance. I think we can take this off. I also, I hear that Evade Extender is like super, is really good. And I actually, I see it. I see it because uh, sometimes like one roll isn't enough to get out of the way, out of the, the big pool, uh, the fire pool that's about to explode. So if I can, if I can like uh, maybe sacrifice some agitators or something for um, an Evade Extender, that would be that would be good i guess all right so an extra one of evade extender might be useful so this is going to be my my opener i'm going to test it out i might want more evade extender i don't know yet um so let's let's save this i think i'm going to want to make a switch to my main build for fatalis i think i'm going to I need, I think I need, I just need more evading. I think that's like evading standard. I think that's really going to help me. Like getting out of the way. Okay, this will give me a level two. Okay. Uh, let's save it there. Okay. Let's do a test here. I want, I want to test. I don't think I've ever had full evade extender. I want to see. How big of a difference that is. It does seem quite noticeable. Now, the thing is. Like, I was watching some gameplay of Fatalis, and I really think that it's just you can't, like, learn, really. Or you can't just watch a video, and all of a sudden you get better at the fight in terms of hitting the head. I was watching several different people, like, fight Fatalis, and I was, like, thinking to myself, how the hell are they hitting the head so easily? It's like they know exactly where to position themselves it's a charge attack or something like that like i don't know okay let's try let's try doing some buffs here killing mantle on Now I don't know if if it matters which cannon you shoot first. It's still a monster, so its head must be a weak point. The cannons up above should be able to hit its head. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even. I was I was planning on bringing my palico back. I just left my palico so he didn't uh, he didn't res me 
when I was trying to uh, get uh, Fortify to, to, to start. Okay, and so we push this. Okay, I think that's good, right? And then here. Oh, no, 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 don't fire, don't fire. Oh, my God. Okay, put this on. I thought I was able to get. Fuck. You see, I already screwed up the opener. I could have sworn I was able to get. Like, I think I think I saw people do three charge hits. What? Oh, was he not? Oh, he wasn't on all fours. Oh. Dude, I don't get it. I was behind the column. You can't block stuff from, from there? Okay. Hmm. Like honestly, the cone is the only thing I even feel comfortable attacking. Like doing a charge. Like if I'm just gonna attack his chest, it's just attack, run, attack, run, and then. But then if I try to attack his chest. He doesn't do the cone attack as often. I wonder. I want to do a test. Once I shoot the cannon, I immediately lose my ghillie mantle. But do each of those shots, is it still going to have full artillery? Heavy artillery? That's a good test. I want to test that out. Okay, let's see. Is it all four going to be 450? No, it doesn't count.
Is that not a fucking wall bank, dude? Was he not on all fours? Was he not on all fours? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Dude, did you even roll through that? That seems like such a tight window. I don't understand. How am I do? What, what am I doing wrong with this opener? I just don't understand about the opening, man. I just don't. I don't get it. I, it it's. A, I feel like it's a lot harder than it looks. It's a lot harder to get the opening than it looks. It kind of looks simple, actually. You shoot the cannons, he falls down, you do some uh, charged attacks, and then you wall bang him. And you attack him again with the correct positioning. I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Let me just go. Let me, let me just go. His head kind of stays there after a bit, so that's... Right here. Almost. Almost. Okay. Here. Oh, we got it. We got 
got it. I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. But now I'm not gonna... First time he fell asleep, I think. here. something.
that it? Did I break the fucking horn? God damn, finally. God, what? God damn, bro. So, uh, does that mean I have to, I have to let him kill me or I have to finish the quest to get that horn? Get out of the goddamn corner, bro.
right here. to do like he's up in the air like is there any way to get him down besides going back to camp bar casting i guess like you can use the ballista but i feel like it's not worth using the ballista besides the binder It's it's so much harder to hit the head than people make it look. It really is. It really, really is. Something's happening to it. Roaming ballista is now operational. His chest, his chest is glowing right now. Some parts of its head are broken. Its flame should be weaker now. Like, you can't do this. You can't, you can't. Fuck, dude. He just spams that shit. Spammer, bro. He's as toxic as, like, a Call of Duty freaking 12-year-old man. Bastard. And it's shooting!
really want to break the second one, man. At least, at least before before this is done, I want to break the second one. This is so. This is where you gotta use the binder. You gotta use the binder here when he's flying in the air, man. Another gigantic plane. The fuck? Head for face. How is his position? This next Nova, bro. I was like, where the hell is my wall bang? You're gonna come back down, right? I would really, really appreciate a code. How did you miss that? Oh my god, bro. He's not really doing his cone a lot in in this phase. So he's probably somewhere like... Uh, he's probably like in the high 30s right now, like 30 something HP left. And I was taking the fight pretty slowly in the beginning, like trying to bait out cones. Fucking move. That move sucks a dick, dude. That sucks a fucking close, that fucking move. down here okay so that's easily two level three charges Another gigantic plane. head for face Hallis's position okay so this is like 25 percent HP this is doable actually this is doable like, can you imagine if I did the if if I did the cannon opener properly? Oh, that's so fast.
Whatever. I mean, uh, at least I, I broke I broke the two horns, so that's that's good. It's pretty much it's pretty much over, right? For one minute left. So I guess he's like at 20 HP percent right now. I feel like once you break his like first horn and you go into the second phase, it's kind of easier because then you can just focus on the ch on the chest. Unless you want to get the second horn break, it's so much easier going for the chest. And the chest, I think, does it does more damage. It looks like it does more damage. Did. If I did the cannon opener properly, because the cannon opener, if you do the, if you do that opener properly, so five thousand damage from the cannons, he falls down. You can do at least two uh, charged slashes to draw charged attacks, and if we don't, if we don't do the fortify route, if we don't go the fortify route. That's going to be like 800, high 800s, so like 900. So that right there is already an extra 1800 damage. So this cl already close to 7,000. You, I think you can get one more hidden. It might not, you might not be able to do a full level three charge, but you could probably do uh, like one or two uh, level charge. So you can get into the 7,000s. Now I have to figure out how to wall bang because. Every time I've done it, he doesn't wall bang. I don't know if it's because I do it too late and he's already standing up. That's going to be an extra thousand. So if you do it properly, it's like 9,000 something damage. And that's a lot. Like, if I did, if I did that opener on this, on this one, and I played exactly the same as I did here, like very slowly in the beginning, baiting the, the cones... I think he would have been under 10% HP. I think he would have been under 10%. Because he did four. The fourth one is when he's 25% uh, HP, I think I read. And I, I did a, I did some damage after him. Um, I did some damage after that. So I probably got him down here to like somewhere like 15%, 18% HP. Like I think a little bit less than 20% HP. Dude. Like, if I did the opener, man, this fight is doable. Man, this 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 attempt actually makes me feel better about this fight. Like, I, I actually can see now that it is manageable. It's Well, of course it's doable. People have done it. But, like, for me, like, so far, these attempts, I've just been like, how the hell is this possible? What, what am I doing wrong? Oh, so I got the evil eye. I got the horn. I think I can see Fatalis's stuff in the in the uh the, the smithy now wait what wait what i have why wouldn't i be able to see it i think i have i think i have every piece i picked up his uh shard or whatever it is I really thought I would have been able to see it. Here. Uh, so I have uh, Evil Eye. I don't need the Evil Eye for this. Uh, do I have a Fatalis Shard? I do. I need three Fatalis Shards. Oh, I don't have a Cortex. Oh. You probably need Plunder Blade. Unless you defeat him. All right. Okay, well, I feel a little bit better. A little bit better. Let's take this confidence. And let's try it again. But this time, let's try to see if we can do the the opener properly. And let's do, let's do the fortify. Because keep in mind. Yeah. 
because that last one I didn't I didn't get fortified right off the bat and that increases my damage like by a lot so like it adds up it adds up and with a cannon opener properly I think we're getting close to a KO if I do the same thing I did last time I'm gonna try um, I'm not gonna go for the second horn break I'm gonna try to go for one horn break and then in the second phase after the second Nova I'm gonna focus on the chest. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Switch. I'm gonna switch to this and I'm gonna fire. Dude, why didn't you sh...
I thought he was on all fours. Mantle on and ballista and get on the roaming operate. ballista, and then I'm gonna far cast her. Use the weapons around the fort to knock down Fatalis. Go to the main one. Item box. I don't think I can eat again. I can eat in a little bit. Damn, that sucks. I fucked that up completely.
surely he has to be doing his second over now. It's readying its flame yeah. again. Retreat into the fort and use the barricade. I can eat. I can eat food now. It's just it makes sense just to go back. Okay, let's eat for a lart. Attack large. So Roman Ballista can be used. Fucking kidding me?
worst thing that could have happened. He's in the fucking air.
I thought that was 25%. It's over. You, you are. <laughs> I thought, I thought he only did four novas. So I was like, oh, this is a lot. This is pretty close. Oh my God. I didn't know it was gonna be like that that fast. I thought it was I thought it was gonna take me like like 20, 30 tries. The thing was, the last run, my last attempt where I just I didn't do the cannons and I tried to take it slower, focus on the head, hit it when you have an opening, like the cone, the cone breath attack. Always. If anything, try to stay like 15, 20 feet in front of him, you know, and see what he's going to do. And if he's going to do the cone attack, punish the head, charge it. That freaking, that freaking attack where he, he, he does like, he does like a sweep with the breath. That's really hard to get the charge right, man, to position yourself. I had so much trouble. Um, but yeah, after that last, that last, last attempt, I was like, I got all the way to the end. And I was like, holy hell, man. I think I got him down to like 25, like 20% uh, health. I can actually see it being possible. Just do the cannon opener. And and I, I, I was believing in myself. The thing was, when I tried doing that cannon opener several times, I kept on screwing up the wall bang. And I guess I just, I did it too fast where he was standing. So this time I was like, let me just relax. When he's on his four, when he's on his four legs, then get on and wall bang him. Oh man, I think I think I used far casters at the right time. Um, I think I, I think it was smart. I wasn't even planning it, but I thought it was pretty smart. Like I was like, you know what? In his first nova, I was like, let me put the ghillie mantle, and then he like for him to not know where I am, and then he's like, where is he? And then get on the roaming ballista. Use all that with my my opening build which has heavy uh, artillery for like double damage far caster out and then after i wasn't even planning on doing the second horn break it just happened i was planning on just focusing on his chest um after his second nova where his chest starts glowing because it's a lot faster to just attack his chest than try to wait for openings to attack his head oh my god dude yeah, I mean, like, I, I probably did, like, the first few attempts was, like, blind, right? Then I looked up some tips, right? Uh, and that's how I learned about, like, oh, you can actually push the cannons. Because I was like, how the, why the hell is everybody talking about the cannons when all the cannons miss? And I looked it up. I was like, oh, you can push the cannons. And then after I tried, I tried that. And I was, I was messing up the opening. I decided to look how some other people were doing it. And I saw, like, I saw that stuff. I, I read, like, a Reddit page. Oh. Hunter, good to see you. Have you already recovered from your battle with Fatalis? Hmm. <laughs> you have the grit of a true hunter. We have a visitor. Just arrived. Come with me. The general guy? It's been a while since we've done this. Is everyone in good health? How are you feeling, kid? Couldn't be better. 
I'm happy that you're in high spirits. I'm actually surprised you made another trip to the New World. He wanted to observe how the Commission works. And as such, he'll only be here for a short period. Yes. I found your Slinger technology fascinating. The work put into developing it is amazing, to say the least. I have high praise for the Commission's flexible hierarchy, too. It allowed you to adapt on the fly to any situation. If we didn't have you as the foundation of this joint operation, slaying Fatalis might have been a fool's errand. You have shown me not only how excellent your hunting prowess is, but how well you support each other. Once again, I must commend you all on a job well done. Thank you, sir. By the way, Aiden, I believe tales of your efforts have reached someone you know. I actually didn't know his name was Aiden. He heard about how you were wounded when you protected your teammate. He was quite a mess after he heard about that. His face turned red with anger, as if you were in front of him. You have a good master. Uh, really? It's good to hear that he hasn't changed. Sir, if you cross paths with my master Julius again, could you relay a message for me? Tell him I kept my promise. There's someone I want him to meet, so we'll be home soon. And I will return. He can count on that. This guy, like, had, like, no basic, like, no role this whole game. And then all of a sudden at the end, like, my master, Julius Aiden, all this stuff is, like... Understood. <laughs> well, then, shall we proceed with the observation? I'd like to take on a quest, actually, if that's fine with everyone. What? Um, well, <clears throat> we could start off with a gathering quest. You'll also need a tutorial on how to use the clutch claw. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm at your disposal. Just don't have that tutorial with my handler. <laughs> well, then, I'll leave you to tend to our guest. Show him everything the new world has to offer. Yes, yes sir. sir. Speak to the commander. Man, I'm... I'm still like, I'm still like, I can't believe I did it. Hunter, once again, thank you for a job well done. After you slayed Vitalis, so much paperwork to fill out, everyone returned home, but no one has been able to catch their breath. You know, I never asked, but where are you from anyway? Nah, never mind. I was curious, but it's none of my business. You coming to the new world is more than I could have ever asked for. Also, the general asked me to present this to you. I do wonder how you kept your nerves when Fatalis made its early entrance. Even I thought we were gonna die out there. <laughs> Fatalis' event quest has been unlocked. And then there's another, oh, what is this? Oh, is that the handler? Amazing. Oh, whoops. This experience has given me a lifetime of questions. Like what exactly was hmm. Fatalis? And how could it be capable of such destruction? Even when considering that's an ancient creature that has evolved over and over through the ages. Why would it need so much power? Well, isn't that pretty much the leader of every like country or the leader, the, the owners of every, you know, company? Uh, everybody wants power. That's basically it. People like power over each other. That's just the world we live in. So I guess it translates to monsters as well. Is there a reason? Does it seek something? Does it have a motive? Who knows if this mystery will be solved in my lifetime. There are times where I start on myself. Don't you make a goddamn food joke. <laughs> okay, good. Um, okay. And then I think we have to talk to, the, to Aiden. Hey, buddy. Glad to see you again. Man, what a hunt, huh? You know, back home I was asked to take care of some pretty unique missions. And I told myself that the success of the mission was the only thing that mattered. But that was my bad. My master put me in line and told me it was safety first, mission second. When we were heading back to the New World, they told me I was out cold and feverish. But the words of the field team leader and my master never left my head. Stand and fight. Those really are words to live by. I bet everyone who lived in Castle Shrey thought the same thing. I can't wait to spill all the details on what happened. Huh? To who? Well, first, I guess the field team leader. And then when I return home, there's someone else that ought to know. Ah, gosh, Rocket! I 
totally forgot to apply for my vacation time. Man, what am I gonna do? Time off. Ah, well. Maybe I just need to fight a bit more. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here, take this. It's a good luck charm until I return. You're gonna need it, seeing as you always fall off things. Eh? What do you have? Oh, got some good news! New form of alchemy? What? Where? What? 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 What are you talking about? Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Let's talk to these people. Check out the gear. Oh, man. It's like... It's like... It's, it's hitting me. Like, it's finally hitting me. Like, this is the end. This is the end of this game. Like, I probably have, like... I'm probably re getting close to 270 hours. It's probably, like, 260-something. 265, 266. Man. Like... This game is all I've been doing for like these last few weeks. And it's it's almost over. Greetings. Our comrade says something very peculiar. The demise of humans is not a difficult concept. No, humans are simply that same as any other creature. Confirmation of Talon's no mere legend. Okay, despite all this, why have humans evolved to believe that they are only... It's highly possible that Fatalis is not the one to end humanity. That is what I felt. Any creature that we have not defined uh, in our minds was simply deemed an elder dragon, but I feel that even the definition has become doubtful to me. <laughs> Please keep that thought close to you, Hunter. Serious handler? Hey. When my partner had to be carried out, I thought, I thought for a moment, you thought he was going to die. If I ever lost someone dear to me, I should just go home. And being a handler, why would I even do that again? Would I even do that again? But at the same time, the people here before us must have thought the same thing countless times. Despite the hardships, they stayed here mm -hmm. for decades. I dwelled on it for a while, but I think I know why why they stayed in the new world. There was something driving them, something different from joy or sadness, a certain madness, perhaps. And that's why I won't be buried here. One day I'll go home. <laughs> what? You thought I'd say something different? No way. I'm going to go back and be that bright morning star of hope. He's got an annoying side, but I got to admit, it'd be fun to see him again over there. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Welcome back. Your vacation's over, huh? Get enough for... Uh, wait, I had a vacation? I can't believe you actually defeated Fatalis. Wish I was there to witness it myself. There's so many things I want to hear, but I'm just glad you were able to pull it off. While we were holding down the fort here, we got reports of the situation. It was a merry-go-round of emotions. It was like an avalanche of monsters. Feelings were hitting, uh, were hitting me right in the cheek. <laughs> the only thing I can do is look back and laugh at how silly I was. I have you to thank for that. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I decided to take a trip on the old world for a bit. No idea when, uh, but I'm going to do it. Our loud A-lister friend told me he'd show me around, said he had someone he wanted me to meet. <laughs> and if I went with him, then he'd be able to fulfill some promise he made. I hope I don't regret this. Huh? Wow. It's over. This is it. I'm probably still going to play this game every now and then. I'm probably just going to boot it up and just play a little bit, you know. There's still things I want to do, like... I want to try to max out my gear, try to get the best uh, set I can. There's So there's there's things I still want to do. But I, yeah, this is pretty much it for all the episodes of Monster Hunter World. Let's see. Fatalis. We can even do the gloves right off the bat. How does the set look? So it's like, it's like horns. Hmm. I still like my scarf. Yeah, Fatalis' set is just ridiculous. <laughs> yes. So many gem slots. Oh my god. What about the weapon? Here it is. I could craft it. Fatalis Pectus, Hard Horn. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, this sword is kinda ugly. This sword is kinda ugly. This is an ugly horn, this is an ugly sword. I was kinda hoping it would look better than this. 
But it does have man, the affinity is so bad. What is what is the like the upgrade, the final upgrade? I did hear that this is the highest raw damage sword though. 1632. Oh, and you're gonna you're gonna need handicraft on that. You're gonna need handicraft for the purple sharpness. Well, I might as well, right? Craft it. Equip it. I can! I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what I think about this sword. Like, looking at it. I don't know. I think I like my wyvern. My wyvern. Uh, ignition? Igniter? Let's test this out. Uh, let's... Let's just uh, change it. Let's go to this one. And let's change it to this. So with all this... God, right, right off the bat, 1829. How much is the draw attack? Almost 400, dude. <laughs> oh, man. A thousand? No, no, not a thousand. That would have been that would have been freaking ridiculous if it was a thousand. Yeah, so the basic draw attack, you need you need handicraft on this. Like this is ridiculous. Like I mean, not ridiculous. This is crazy. It's almost 400. Uh, I think my, my set before, like, on this post, it was doing, like, 320, 330 maybe. So this is a big upgrade. Wow. I kind of want to get, like, two pieces of Fatalis gear. And maybe use the Safi weapon, maybe. And try to do a Vel'Kana uh, Frostcraft build with two pieces of uh, Fatalis. So then I can uh, have the... The set bonus where I can, I can unlock uh, skill secrets so I can get like agitator level seven and maximum might. Like if you're gonna, you know, but I also want to do just like a full fata fatalis build because then, then it has so many gem slots you could do with a fatalis sword. You can do maximum like level five maximum might, level seven agitator, weakness exploit, max crit eye, and pretty much. That's going to probably bring it up to, like, 100% uh, affinity. And if you put, uh, a f like, you augment it for affinity, I think that's going to be, like, 100%. And it's probably going to do so much damage. And you might have slots for, like, attack up. Uh, but, man, this is the end. The end of the end of the of these videos for Monster Hunter Worlds. So I guess some thoughts, right? I guess some of my thoughts. Fatalis. Starting Fatalis. When you first fight Fatalis, you know, several times in the beginning, he just, he seems impossible. It's like, what is going on? He has so many wide range attacks, so many explosions, so much fire breath. And you're like, How, where the hell can I get these openings? How am I supposed to attack him, man? And I never got that feeling with Alatrion. With Alatrion, it was the DPS mechanic that frustrated me. Because even when I was, I felt like I was doing good damage, I never got the topple. And I didn't even know how he was supposed to topple to, uh, for the DPS check. I didn't know that until much later. <laughs> but but yeah, I think, I think Fatalis is a much better fight than Alatrion. Uh, Fatalis is just a more fun fight from a difficulty perspective. Alatrion has like a weird difficulty thing. And it's very clear to me that I still hate Alatrion. I thought maybe maybe after a bit I would like warm up to Alatrion. I still hate him. I, I tried fighting him again and my the event quest I think it only has 
the quest that he starts in ice. Uh, no, he starts in, yeah, he starts in ice form. And I think maybe it rotates. So like one day, I don't know. But the thing was, I wanted to farm him that day. <laughs> I wanted to farm him that day. And he's in ice. I don't want to farm for a fire weapon. And then if anything, some people are like, well, why don't you use a, like a neutral elemental weapon, like a thunder weapon? Well, then I'm going to have to farm for a thunder weapon. Why do I have to farm for these weapons just to fight this boss? I spent so much time. I spent so much time working on these weapons. The, the Safi, the Safi weapon. Spent so much time on the frost and I didn't even end up using it to kill him. I used it in the beginning, but it didn't have enough elemental weapon. So then I spent a lot of time farming the frost fang fully augmenting that getting the materials in the guiding lands it took hours hours and eventually yeah i got the kill i i got i, I defeated latra shortly after that but then i don't want to do that again for the other weapons just if i like i don't like that i don't I, I really don't like his mechanics a latrion i would probably like a latrion more if if they just took out that whole or at least take out the elements just increase the damage for the dps check but just make it raw attack i would probably like it more don't force the dps check uh to be on like elements and then what no that's just too that's just a chore so i don't like a latrion i think fatalis is a much better boss fight and i i feel like it's it's i i felt like a lot more pressured fighting him and just it was just so crazy everything going you know i i also think he looks he looks a lot more badass than latrion i like the way he looks it's just it's really cool all in all i i freaking love this game man i love this game uh i i enjoyed it so much i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting to play this as much as i have i wasn't expecting to sink in so much time but just because I love the game doesn't mean this is a perfect game. It's not a it's not a perfect game. And I'm sure most people look at that 270 hours. I'm sure most people would agree there's there's some things in here that that they don't like or they have some like some annoyances, pet peeves. If you've been following me, there's probably a few things you know that I don't like. I don't like tenderizing. I think tenderizing is an annoying mechanic. And it feels more like a chore. It runs out so fast. And when when fights take 20, 30 minutes, do you really have to remind yourself to do that? And then these end game bosses, they, they kill your temporal mantle. So then you have to try to find openings where you can actually do that. So it's like, I'd rather just stay here DPSing, doing damage. I, I think tenderizing is a horrible mechanic. Um, I love wall banging. Wall banging is fun. I love I love smacking uh, monsters, right he uh, head straight into a wall. It's very satisfying. They fall over, topple, and then you, you everybody can DPS them. It feels very satisfying when you're doing SOS with a group of people and you you uh, you claw onto their head and you wall bang them. It feels very nice. Like all right, boys, I set you guys up. Everybody, let's attack. Right? It feels good. <laughs> um. So I love wall banging. I hate tenderizing. Such a shit, shit mechanic. It's it's obnoxious. It's, it's redundant. It's I hate everything about it. And from what I understand, it was introduced obviously in Iceborne, and I think it's not in Rise in Monster Hunter Rise. Thank God. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hated that. Another thing that I disliked is I dislike how this game has so many things to take control from your character away from you uh to take uh like to impede your character's movement you can't do anything i hate that like it's not needed or at least the amount of times that this game does it it's just too much it's too much like the stun gets old fast and i guess everybody who plays this game a lot you know people who have a thousand hours in the game like all those people are probably just gonna be like we'll get good that's a skill issue man don't get hit don't get hit it's like no it's not needed you can have you know better quality of life and still like have a difficult like game for some uh end game difficult bosses you don't need to to do that like i really think that stun shouldn't be in this game or make it where you only get stunned from Thunderblight. 
Just take regular stun out of the game. Only put stun from Thunder Blight. There we go. A little bit better. I personally think... Get rid of... Get rid of freaking... Uh, get rid of pinning. It's so dumb. You don't need pinning. There are so many things in this game that, that take away your, your movement. Roars. Wind. Tremor. Stun. It, it's just... It's it's getting to the point where it's just... It's too much. Like, I, 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 I hate that. And if you're going to make somebody change their build just so they can have better movement and more control over their character, that's, that is an asshole move by the developers. I truly believe that. There is a reason in Lies of P, the developers ended up after release, post-release, they changed the skill where they let you roll out of the ground because there was a monster, a, a regular enemy who would... He would hit you, you would fall down, you can't roll, and he would walk up to you, smash you, and you're dead. You see, that's a that's a loss of movement. Like, they, the, the game takes away movement, and that's an asshole thing to do. And you had to get a skill to unlock that. So you had to waste uh, skill points, I forgot what it was called, to be able to get that skill. When, it, in reality, that should not be a mechanic, or they, they should give you that skill off the bat. And the Lies of P developers, they gave you that skill. And now, look at this game. There are so many ways that this game takes movement and control the character away from you. And if you want that, you have to put it in your build. You have to sacrifice decorations for it. I don't like that. I don't like that. Earplugs. Earplugs is useless unless you have level 5. No skills that take away the movement should, be, should, should require level 5. Why does wind need level 5? In reality, you only need wind because of Kushala Dara. And that's another problem. I, I absolutely hate Kushala Dara. I think Kushala Dara and probably uh, Alatrion are the worst fights in this game, without a doubt. Um, the, the the other mon there's other monsters that are more like gimmicks, but it's they're they're easy, you know, like Nightshade Palumu. Just throw throw on a damn sleep charm. It's only three levels, you know. But other than that, like those are my biggest gripes with the game. Oh, and another thing, <laughs> I disliked. <laughs> this is a minor one. But I disliked how this game forced <laughs> you to get all the way to the post-post game guiding lands. Level 7 guiding lands to unlock layered armor for some things, man. I really dislike that. I I probably spent, I don't know, like, I was already like 160 hours into the game before I could, like, do, like, layered armors or something. I would have liked layered armor, like, er unlocked earlier. I think... I think they put layered armor too, too way late late into the game, and the layered armor they give you from the event quests, they're they're kind of ugly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything. Uh, I love I love the variety of this game, the weapons. I love how you can switch a weapon and it's a completely different playstyle. Um, I, I love it. it. This game has so much variety, and it, you have a completely different feeling depending on the weapon that you choose. Uh, the the monster variety there's a lot of different monsters with different attacks different things you have to know different weak spots i love that i love sos in this game i enjoy sos more than uh solo fights i do uh i i prefer i prefer going into into fights with uh other people i do it feels so much more fun working together to take down a monster than just fighting it by yourself it kind of feels lonely and probably, like, some of the most fun I had is playing with people from the YouTube comments. I know some people added me, and I, I've I've done some, some monster fights with them. I've grinded Guiding Lands with some people, doing voice chat, you know. And it, I had a lot of fun. Like, I, I love the multiplayer aspect of this game. So, yeah, like, this game is very, very good. But I just, like I said, I have a few annoyances. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, what do you, what do you find, uh, like... A, the bad parts of this game because i'm sure there's things out there do you agree with everything i said do you do you agree with with my takes on maybe like the the loss of movement from stunning or pinning or all that stuff and needing like high level decorations like i don't think that should be a thing also uh and tenderizing you know that i think that's just not a good mechanic it's a like a chore it, it gets tiring do you agree like what, what do you think let me know. Let me know. I, I I would love to see what other people think that have put a lot of time into this game. You know, like, I'm sure to some people, 
270 hours is probably a lot. And to some people, they're like, 270, man. Are you kidding me? I have... I have like a thousand kills of just Vilkana. I have ten thousand kills of great uh, the great Jaggers, man. Like I, I don't know. What do you think? What you have to have some some things that annoy you in this game. Let me know. I, I'd really like to to find out. So yeah, wow, it's finally over. I'm gonna be moving on to Monster Hunter Rise. I'm really excited to actually start a new game fight. Maybe new monsters. I'm sure there's probably gonna be monsters from here that are gonna be in there. So I'd love to see those uh variations of those monsters i'm really really excited to, to play monster Hunter rise and i want to thank everybody that has been following my playthrough it really means so much to me like it really really does there's been some people that have been commenting since the first episode and letting me know helping me out give me tips i really really appreciate it it made this game even like more fun like playing it with you guys and and hearing everything you guys have to say and i'm hoping that some of you will stick with me you know stick with me in monster hunter rise if you haven't already it really means the world to me to like and subscribe to vi the videos it really motivates me to play more upload more edit more it takes so much time editing these videos but once again thank you so much and it, it has been a journey man it has been a journey and i hope i'll see you next time in monster hunter rise other than that i gotta go Bye-bye.